Six and 13 and five in G Pack play. Average 80 points per game, 71 points is what they allow per game. They shoot about 49% from the field, 34% from the free th or three point line, and then about 15 assists and 10 steals, two blocks, and 35 rebounds per game. Frustrating loss back a week ago against Dome, 54 to 50 for this Bulldog team. They only shot 32% from the floor in that loss. And so they had a week off since then. I'm sure a lot of time to not think about what just happened uh, last Wednesday and move forward and, and get ready to play these final two regular season games. Their starters today will be Carter Kent, one of the best to ever put on a Bulldog uniform. Just needs two points to pass Tanner Shuck for number eight all time on the scoring list. He's a 6'2 senior from Crete. Justin Wiersma, a senior from Loveland at 6'3 and a guard, averages 12.2 points per game for the Bulldogs. Gage Smith gets the start, a 6'6 senior from Elizabeth, Colorado. And Noah Shutt, he's tipping this one off for the Bulldogs, a second-year player at 6'4 from Laurel, Nebraska. And then A.J. Watson, the final guard, starting for the Bulldogs, back there wearing number 14, a 5'8 sophomore from Kansas City, Kansas. And the tip here controlled by the Chargers. They'll work with it here on offense. And they're all black jerseys, purple letters, purple trim. And the Bulldogs in their home whites, Navy letters, Navy numbers. Briar Cliff with the basketball. Bulldogs in a man-to-man defense. Now this is with Dassey. He's going to drive to the basket. No good on the shot from the right side. And the rebound by the Bulldogs. Now they're going to push it quickly. Wiersma now into the corner. Carter Kent, 4-3. Trains it. Splash. Bulldog basketball. Carter Kent, Superman out of Crete, Nebraska. Moves into number eight all time on the Concordia Bulldogs scoring list with that made three. And then a quick miss shot here on the other end by Briar Cliff. Now Kent right back to the basket, misses on the shot as the Bulldogs try to work quickly there. Chargers back with it on offense. Vassy here on the right side. Now toward the top of the key and Bossa. Bossa with it, now works toward the right. We'll throw it back to Vassy, right wing. Now Vassy ball in the left hand, he'll drive it to the middle. Pass back out to the left wing, and Briar Cliff will reset near the top. Ten seconds here on the shot clock. Fassi with the basketball. Putting the ball in his right hand. Now five seconds. Chargers got to do something with it. Here's a wild off-balance shot that banks in. Right there by Connor Groves, a 36% three-point shooter, and tough shot, but he knocked it down. It was just great half-court defense by the Bulldogs. Awesome composure by Briar Cliff as they are very methodical in the half-court offense oh. as they bank that three in yep. at the buzzer. On the baseline, there was shut. Now he brings it near the elbow, pass out to Watson. Watson hard, take to the rim. Left-handed layup is good. That's so explosive. A.J. Watson out of Kansas City, Kansas, using his left hand getting to the opposite side of the rim. You got to have scores at the back at the rim to open up the three on the right side. Chargers with the basketball double dribble is called. It was in the hands of Jaden Klein Hesselink and he'll double dribble that ball. It is going back here with the Bulldogs. 17.59 to go in the first quarter. 5-3, to three, Concordia on top. Briarcliff in a man-to-man -man defense. Now they might show a little bit of zone here too. But they stick with their man-to-man -man defense as you have a set play by the Bulldogs posting up Noah Shutt on the left low block. Here comes the double team. Yep, they pass out of it. Now it gets into the corner. Good ball movement by the Bulldogs as Wiersma has it. And on the drive, he's going to be fouled. First team foul for either team this game. And a baseline impound coming up here for the Bulldogs. Foul is going to go on Kyle Borhave. That is his first. Here to where Sir Ken now right Post down stop. low to Smith on the left side and good strong put up to the basket there by Gage Smith, the senior. New out of bounds play for the Bulldogs. A little dish it to the top of the key and enter it right away to the low post. And off here to Groves. AJ and Watson. Groves, yep. And it's gonna be fouled by Watson, who was reaching in. First foul on Concordia. 
left side. Yep. Sideline out of bounds play for Briar Cliff, opposite of Concordia's bench, right in front of the student section. This place is rocking this evening compared to what it's been here the last couple of home games. Bassey with the basketball gets a handoff there from 22 Helmers who just checked in. Now Bassey back up top. Nine seconds on the shot clock. He drives middle and the missed shot there. Gage Smith with a rebound. Throws it up to Wiersma. Now Wiersma nearly lost it there. Tried to I think throw it to shut, but Look it's Watson that comes away with it. Then there's Gage Smith going back to her from the middle. Watson giving him the pass. Nice dish by A.J. Watson. Just lulled him to sleep with that basket cut from the top of the key. Great hands by Gage Smith. There's a deflection out of bounds by Justin Wiersma, or is that Noah Shutt? I can't. He gets Wiers Wiersma, right, yes. Yeah. Looking in between all this, yeah. you know, progressives and plexiglass <laughs> and over the top of the computer. That's right. Here we go. Inbound here by the Chargers. Six-point lead, 9-3 by the Bulldogs. And now with it is Vassie on the right side. Throw down on the baseline area. And Helmers, now Helmers, guarded by Smith, trying to back him down. Instead, he'll throw it right out to the top of the key. And knocking that one down is Connor Groves. That one didn't even look like it touched the net at all. Just went straight through. Heck of a shot. Now it's 9-6. Groves shoots 37% from beyond the arc, so you need to stay up on him, force him to dribble a little bit. Watson with the ball, right side, and throws it to Smith. Smith now double team working on Klein Hesselink. He's got to pass out of it. He does. Top of the key, Carter Kent. Three-pointer, no good. It's going to bounce into the corner. Klein Hesselink comes away with the ball. He's got it top of the key. One hesitation move. Now a drive. And a foul will be called on the Bulldogs. Not on the shot. Foul will be on Carter Kent, his first. And this will be a baseline inbound here for the Chargers. I really like what I'm seeing out of the Bulldogs when they get double teamed. They're looking for that diagonal cross court pass right away when the double team comes. So they're going to have some open threes on the backside. Just got to step up and hit it. Bassey driving middle now passes out to Helmers in the corner. Back out to Bassey. Now bounce pass to Groves. Made a three a moment ago, but misses that one off the brick. And now the rebound here for. The Bulldogs are working with it on offense. Gets to Kent in the corner. Three-pointer, no good. Well, pass to Smith, maybe. And then his shot back up is going to miss as well, but he was fouled. And so Gage Smith here. Foul not by on the shot or on the floor? On the floor. Yeah, on the Foul floor. by yep. Vasa. Vasa. Played a lot of summer basketball with his dad. Former high school teammates with Matt List, who Carter Kent's going to be chasing here. Matt That's List right. is number seven on the all-time scoring list with... Uh 1,608 points, yep. so that's the next person Carter Kent's going to try to eclipse. Smith now with the ball. Cross court here to Kent on the right side. Kent to the basket. Good lay in, good strong take. Yes, that's just, he's just added that to his game over the last year and a half. He hits the three. He can slash to the basket. It's just such a great passer. Really improved his athleticism and his strength in the weight room. He's got five, and the Bulldogs lead by five, 11 to six, 14.50 to go in the first half. Now, three-pointer taken there by the Chargers, and that's gonna get knocked down. Number 20, Quentin Vassa with that one right there. Vassa comes off a uh, Jamestown win with uh, 18 points, so he can light it up too. He doesn't take a lot of shots. A.G. Watson with a deep yeah. three splash. Bulldog basketball. Right in front of the Charger bench right there. Watson getting in on the three ball action. Back up to a five point Bulldog lead. Now Watson with five. Here's Briar Cliff nearly losing it there, but picking it up is Fassa. Now on the left side, Groves. He'll move it back up toward the top, give it to Vesey. Now Vesey left some space, mm. and he knocks it down right over Watson. That was deep three from the left wing. These guys can shoot the three. Yep. Smith now with the basketball. It's shut going back door. Lost the ball. Ball went up in the cylinder of the rim, under it, but obviously that doesn't count. And then the ball ends up here with Briar Cliff. Now Vesey, right side, three-pointer coming up. Right on line, but too strong off the back rim. Watson gets it across now for the Bulldogs. 
Here's Wiersma. Wiersma back up to Watson. Now back to Wiersma. Watson, left side. After a few passes, back and forth. No good, though, on the three. And Vossel with the rebound. Bessie now with the ball, right side. Right in front of Coach Limbach and the Bulldog bench. They reverse the ball here on the left wing. And Groves taking it right toward the free throw line area. And the jumper there is good. He hits that one over Kent. We're tied up here at 14 all, 13 10 to go and counting here in the first half. Groves averaged 10 and a half per game. Nice pull up jumper mid range. It's already hit a three. Diversified offensive player. Bulldogs get it here on the baseline with Smith. Now Smith, left side, will take it in with a right hand, gets toward the middle and puts up a fadeaway jumper right on the lane line, but can't hit it. The rebound here for the Chargers. They can take the lead. Bounce pass down low. This is with Helmers. Helmers now middle of the paint. Ooh. Shot is no good. This is hard off the backboard and the rebound here for the Bulldogs. Shot now over to Watson. Now Wiersma on the right side. Goes to Smith. Gage Smith here with the basketball. Looking to hand it off to Ken, but couldn't. Now gives it back up to the top and shut. Then they reverse the ball to Ken, who's now standing on the left side. Down low, Smith with a post move in the middle of the paint. Gage Smith knocks it down. He was a big part of the Bulldogs a week ago, even though they lost to Doan. But Gage Smith had a heck of a game up there. Getting some inside shots. That one knocks down, 16-14 Bulldogs. Now Groves inside will answer with a jumper of his own after a drive from the left wing. Really establishing himself in the two dribble pull up right in the lane as Gage Smith takes a three yeah. splash. Bulldog basketball. Gage Smith from Elizabeth, Colorado hits the three. Coach Limbach timeout. 19-6 in this men's basketball matchup right here on Max Country and the Concordia Sports Network. Both teams shooting it well. Already seven made threes combined here. Not quite halfway through this first half. Both teams are shooting really well. Chargers shooting 50% from the floor as the Bulldogs shoot 61%. Top of the key, grabbing the ball is Groves. Now Groves with a ball screen. He's going to go left on it. Vessi now with it with seven seconds on the shot clock. Now Vessi, he'll take it right to the rim. Right side, no good. Ball will end up out of bounds. It'll stay with Briar Cliff. And the ball also hit the rim, so 20 seconds is put on the shot clock. And it'll be a throw in from the baseline here. Ball went through Scarpelli's hands. Yeah. There's a discussion yeah. whether it hit the rim or not. I believe all three officials are together. Ryan Holtz in the game as well. Two super seniors in for the Bulldogs with Scarpelli and Holt. Scarpelli's from Portland, Oregon. As Ryan Holt, he's been around for a while. He's from Highlands Ranch, Colorado. Seems like they're going to go to yeah. the scores table, have a discussion. So they're saying it didn't hit the rim because they put four seconds back on the shot clock. Yes. So that means that it wasn't reset and it did not hit the rim. And so Briar Cliff, they still have the ball. It'll be a baseline inbound, but not a lot of time to work with here. I'm confused on why Coach Limbach's having a discussion because it really benefits the Bulldogs that there's only four seconds on the shot clock. Vessi will throw it in. Again, four seconds. Nice elevator screen. They but throw they, it right into the corner. Yeah. Open three right there. Didn't matter. Didn't need to use that elevator no. screen. It was just the entry pass. Defense wasn't tight enough on the initial pass. Wide open three. 19 all, 10.55 to go in the first half. What a G-Pack game. Here. Yeah. Top two in the league. Where's Smut puts the ball on the floor, driving. He tries to throw it back up top to Kent, but it has it stolen away by Bessie. And Bessie with the ball now gives it left side. Here's a drive by the Chargers and a kick out here to the right wing and Groves. Now Groves tries to throw it back down low, but it's taken away here by Weersma. Nice now Weersma one handed bounce pass to Kent, and he lays it in off the left side. Just. They fly so in transition, so don't they? So unselfish, yeah. and everybody just sprints the floor. Yep. Just lay it off to Carter Kent, left-handed layup. Top of the key with it here is Briar Cliff. Borhave with the basketball. Now on the right side, Vessi. 
down to this is Jorge. Now left wing Groves. Three pointer coming up, no good. And the rebound there for Smith and the Bulldogs. Wearsma gets it ahead. Now to Kent. Kent now takes it to the middle. Off the drive. And Kent with a left handed floater. Two dribble pull up. Both of these stellar guards are shooting the three and the two dribble pull up mid range game. Love the offensive flow to this basketball game. Both Briarcliff and Concordia playing really well. Bessie gets it inside. Now a handoff here to another player that was driving in. This is 55, Matthew Stillwell, 6'2 sophomore from Johnston, Iowa. He was fouled and will shoot a couple of free throws. Foul is going to go on Ryan Holt. That is his first. And the third Bulldog team foul. 9.35 to go. 23-19. Concordia leads and still will at the line. First free throw is up and good for him. He averages 7.5 points per game. 80% free throw shooter from the line. 6'3", junior guard, brings some offensive punch off the bench. Made the first free throw, now he lines up for the second one, which is up and good. Nothing but net. Two-point game, 23-21. Scarpelli will bring it up. Tristan Smith into the game for the Bulldogs. Ryan Holt also in there, along with Carter Kent and Garrett Segrin checking in a moment ago as well. Kent now to Tristan Smith, right side. Now Smith on the drive. He can't lay it in. And the rebound there by Stillwell. He'll throw it up ahead here to Vesey. Now right at the top, Vossaw with the basketball. Vossaw will throw it. This is Nick Hoyt, number 24, checking in. Now it heads to the corner, back up to the top of the key, and Vossaw on the drive, on hold. There's Smith with a rejection. Send it back. The ball is on the line, though it'll stay Briarcliff ball. He tried to abuse the basketball. Wow. That was a huge block. So again, it'll stay Briarcliff ball. Officials another quick discussion yeah, again. I don't think it hit a shot clock. No. So they have it reset for 20 seconds. I would think, well, they're going to leave it at 20 seconds. Baseline out of bounds, Briar Cliff. Klein Hesseling looks like he'll throw it in right underneath the Vessi, and then Vessi got a shot there on the right side of the rim underneath. Just got the pass right away and put it in. Just a jab step, come back to where you came from, and just beat Garrett Seeger into the opposite low block. It's Kent with the ball, now Scarpelli here on the left wing. Just your basic V cut. Kent will get it back. Now Holt. Now right back to Kent. Ten on the shot clock. Kent on the drive. Tries a nice fancy pass. move. Gets it to the baseline. Now Scarpelli right side for three. Splash. Bulldog basketball. Sam Scarpelli getting the crowd fired up. A lot of ball movement right there by the Bulldogs on that possession. And Scarpelli was left open. Now what can the Chargers do to answer here? Down by three. 26-23. Bessie. Right near the free throw line, we'll hand this one off to Stillwell. Look at that rejection underneath again by Smith. And it's out of bounds, it'll stay Chargers basketball. The bench press boys down there, Ryan Holt and Tristan Smith, having a block party. Holt dives out of bounds trying to save it. He might have a few bruises yeah. come tomorrow. Both those men, said bounce around. Here's a baseline out of bounds play again for the Chargers. Throw it right into Stillwell. Out of Vossa at the top of the key. He'll drive it toward the low block. Now pass here. Still will. A little turn around. And then Holt coming in, jumping up with him. He'll pick up the foul. And still will. We'll go right back to the free throw line. 7.54 left to go here in the opening half. Three-point Bulldog lead. A lot of action here so far. Concordia shooting 20% better than Briarcliff so far. 64% for the Bulldogs, 11 of 17 from the field. And Briarcliff so far is 8 of 18 for 44%. As first free throw there by Stillwell misses. Both teams also have made a total of nine threes. Briarcliff 5 for 8 from the three-point line. Concordia 4 for 7. The Chargers now after that made free throw there by Stillwell 
are three for four from the free throw line. The Bulldogs have yet to go to the line. Bulldogs back on offense. Scarpelli now gets the hand there, gets the pass there from Holt. Smith now still on the right side with Kent. Kent picks up his dribble, pump fake right at the elbow, will pass it around back to Scarpelli. Now Scarpelli, five on the shot clock, has to put one up, no good. Two players and uh, one Briar Cliff player, one Bulldog player fall to the ground. Fessy a little slow to get up, but he does, gets across. Now Stillwell at the top of the key, lost the ball. Ryan Holt comes away with it on the steal, and now Kent is maybe gonna wisely pull this one back and set up an offense. Scarpelli now right side. Scarpelli on the drive after the screen. Now throws it to Kent in the corner for three. No good. Tristan Smith with a rebound. His put back is no good, but he's fouled. And it'll be Tristan Smith, the true freshman, headed to the free throw line. Tristan Smith is so bouncy. Gets off the floor. He plays so physical. He's tough to block out. This young man, a freshman. He's already put an impact on this game so yeah. far. Two blocks, and then obviously now here to the free throw line. It's going to take more than one man to block him out. He's just intensely going after the rim. He misses that first free throw. Yep. He gets so jacked up and misses those free throws a little bit. He'll get that under control as his career advances. He averages about nine minutes a game, three and a half points, two and a half rebounds. He scored 10 points middle of January yep. against Jamestown here in Frederick Arena. Had a great game. Missed on the first one, but the second one also misses off the front side of the rim. So the Bulldogs empty-handed on that possession of free throws. They're 0 for 2 now for the game. And a two-point Bulldog lead until that made three right there by Briar Cliff. That's Vasa. Quentin Vasa knocking that one down, and the Chargers have their first lead. He's the quintessential teammate. Answer, A.J. It didn't last long. A.J. Watson from straight away knocks it down for three. Splash. Bulldog basketball. The answer. A.J. Watson. 29-27. Bulldogs lead. 6.25 to go in the first half. Look now that, AJ. it's a steal by the Bulldogs. Watson picked off the pass, and now it's with shut. He's driving middle. Up with it and one. Composure. Just composure by Noah Shutt. Drives to the lane, comes to a jump stop, freezes the defense with a little head shoulder fake, gets fouled and one. Noah shot from Laurel, Conrad, Coleridge, Concord. You throw a few more towns in there. He did <laughs> it all. In Northeast there. Nebraska, yeah. First free throw, only free throw there for shut is good. Completes the three point play. So six points for the Bulldogs in their last two possessions after a Watson three and then a three-point play there by Noah Shutt. Now in this three there by Briar Cliff on their offensive end from the right side. And they rebound there for Shutt and the Bulldogs. Justin Weersma set to check in in a moment for Concordia as Watson has it. Now a bounce pass to Shutt. He's left alone on the left side. And then a blocking foul is called as Shutt was on the drive. I want to say Klein Hesseling tried to set the feet there, but the official didn't call it there on the baseline. So it's a blocking foul. And now it'll be a sub in. Garrett Segrin will check out for Concordia. And in is Justin Weersma. I think Briar Cliff also made a sub too. I missed it though. Smith for Smith. Yeah. So Weersma, he'll throw it in. I think that new player who just came in was Sammy Green, a senior from Alton, Illinois, there for the Chargers. He's guarding Scarpelli. As Scarpelli just passed it there to Weersma. Now top of the key with Watson. Watson guarded by Hoyt. Now left wing, it's Weersma again. Four on the shot clock. Weersma's got to do something with it. Getting toward the basket on the baseline, no good. Tough shot, and the rebound by Green. And he'll bring it across the timeline, and then is fouled by Gage Smith. That's his first foul, and the fifth Bulldog team foul with 5.22 to go in the first half. Five-point Bulldog lead. Gage Smith kind of rolled that Briar Cliff ball handler out of bounds. That was an obvious call as Briar Cliff enters the ball. Left wing, now back up to the top of the key. It's with Vessi. 
Essie now driving in. We'll turn around past the boss on. Now on the right side, Groves. Groves now will put it on the floor. Turn around. Still on the right wing with Hoyt. Whistle blown. It'll be a foul called on the Bulldogs. That'll be on charge to Wearsma. Yep. That'll be his first and the sixth Bulldog team foul. So we'll see a baseline inbound here for the Chargers. Fessy will throw it in. Right there to Vassaw. Now back to Fessy. Now Vessi driving middle. Puts up the shot in. And that's the seventh point of the game for Quinn Vessi from Indianola, Iowa. The junior at 6-1. Now a three-point game with the Bulldogs back on offense. Bounce pass here to shut. Shut. Guarded by Vossaw. Takes him middle. Puts up the shot in the paint. No good. Smith there with the offensive rebound. And then his putback is going to miss, but he was fouled. Fouled by Green. Sammy Green gets Gage Smith on the arm as he gets that offensive rebound and tries to put it back in. So he's going to go to the line shooting two. Sammy Green's first foul. So Gage Smith here for two free throws, a 70% free throw shooter. And the first one is up and in. Both teams will make some subs now. In for Briar Cliff, Kyle Borhave and Matthew Stillwell. And the Bulldogs will bring in two new players with Sam Scarpelli checking out. And A.J. Watson checking out. Nope, never mind. Watson just walked over toward the bench. He did not check out, so in is Carter Kent. Kent Smith, Weir's mum. Shut and a Watson on the floor for the Bulldogs as Smith missed on that second free throw. Now back up here with Briar Cliff. Inside. This is up there and in for Kyle Borhe. Two points now for him, his first of the game. Now a screen set by Smith on Kent. Kent will give it up to Watson, now down low to shut. Now back up top to Watson. They swing it around. Wiersma, right side, three-pointer off the front side of the rim, no good. And the board there for Vossa. Green now with it. Four minutes to go in the first half. Two-point game, 33-31. Briarcliff trailing, but they've got the basketball. Vessi, he'll work it around. Now throw right here to Borhave. Right on the low block on the right side. He had nothing there. Turns around to Stillwell. Five on the shot clock here. Stillwell guarded by Smith. Takes him to the basket. No good. Misses it on the front side of the rim. Had an open shot there, too. Smith came a little late on the block attempt, but then got the rebound. Now Smith all the way to the basket. Started to lose control of it, but luckily for him, a foul is going to be called on Briar Cliff. Yeah, Gage Smith's getting a little frustrated that he keeps getting grabbed every time he gets near the basket. He's going to have to earn these at the free throw line. Stay composed. Make the free throws. They're doubling every time. A big or even a guard gets the ball in the low post area, whether it's dribbled in there or an actual traditional post up. First free throw for Smith is good. That'll give him now 11 points. Can make 11 at the free throw line today if the way Briar Cliff's defending the post area. Smith, though, misses on that second free throw. It stays a three-point game. By the way, he's just one rebound away from a double-double here in the first half. Top of the key with it is Vessi, guarded by Wiersma. Now hands it off here on the right side. Throw over to Groves on the right wing. Now down low for Borhe. Borhe, good shot fake. Back up with it and in. Borhe right on the baseline. Got, I think that was Smith and yes. Kent. I think he was down there too. Kent and sh or shut. Either way, two guys were down there. Got both of them to jump. The foul is going to be called on Smith. That's his second, and he checks out as well. Borhave, 6'6", senior forward out of Ashton, Iowa. Averages 13 points, shoots 68% from the free throw line. This is that one, though, long. 
Clay Uher, one of the Bulldogs seniors recognized earlier today, checks in for the first time this game. Comes in for Smith after he picked up his second foul. Now Uher with the ball, dribbles it toward the right wing, left wing rather. Now it's back to the right side and Watson. Watson, one quick ball fake, now drive middle. Bounce pass down low, Uher. Uher yes. up with it and yeah. no good. Just didn't get the angle on that shot. Great post Off the backboard. move. Yep. Just great post move. Just a slight angle adjustment there, and it would have went in. So a one-point Bulldog lead, 34-33, and now we're got a Briar Cliff lead right there. A two-handed slam for Borges, who will knock that one in. Now Borges, 13 points average on the season. He's got six here tonight after that dunk. Now back here with the Bulldogs. A foul is going to be called. Did not please Coach Mark Svagera. Is not happy after that whistle is blown, but it'll be two free throws coming up here for Carter Kent and Concordia. He's headed to the line for the first time this game. Pretty good free throw shooter as well for Concordia, about 85% on the season. It was a one and one situation, and he made the front end right there to Carter, tie it back up. Carter now has 10 points. Tie game, 35 all, 215 left in the first half. There's a discussion right now. <clears throat> oh, it's the two shots, so it didn't yeah. go in. Okay, there's. I was a little confused by that. I was like, wait, just one free throw. I, I was understand. too, but everybody seemed so confident yeah. about it. I yeah. thought you could talk the officials into it when you're when the entire team is so confident sure. about hey, we made that one. It should be a three-point play, but second Carter free throw can't hit though. Yeah. That didn't work. Went in and out. Now the ball back here with Briar Cliff tied up with two minutes to go until halftime. Groves now to Vesey, right wing, high right side. He's guarded by Wiersma, taking him to the basket. Nope, it's going to be blocked right there on the right side of the rim. Kent coming away with the ball, and then the foul is called on Briar Cliff as Kent was trying to get it across half court or bring it up the court. Chargers will make a sub here with Nick Hoyt checking in, and Vassal will check out. So now... Another one-on-one -on -one situation here for Concordia. This will be Carter Kent shooting the one-on-one. -one. First one is good, nothing but net that time for Carter Kent. That gives him his 11th point of the game. And now getting ready for the second free throw, which is also good. 37-35, 152 to go. Concordia leading Briar Cliff. Here in this matchup of the two best teams in the regular season in the G-Pack. Now it's Groves with the ball. It's going to be a backdoor cut by Borhave, and he's going to knock it down. Borhave slipped to the basket right with the man who had the ball, and then the assist was given. Borhave is now up to eight points, and he's going to the free throw line to try to get Briar Cliff a lead with 1.39 to go until half. Free throw, though, is no good, so we stay tied up. Wiersma grabs the board for Concordia. 1.30 to go in the first half. Now Smith with it. It goes to Wiersma. Now Wiersma, full head of steam, right to the basket. Lost it, but the ball right on the out-of-bounds line as Stillwell fell on it, and so it's going to stay Bulldog ball. Wiersma will throw it in from right underneath the Bulldog basket. Smell will throw it over to Ken right here on the right side after a couple of screens to get him open. Now top of the key with Watson. Now to Wiersma. Left side for three. Splash. Bulldog basketball. Justin Wiersma from Loveland, Colorado. Justin is a great teammate. He's so unselfish. Yeah. He can score at the rim, drive, basket attack. He can hit the mid-range, and he hits the three really well. He shoots 34% from three. Nine on the shot clock, 49 in the game. Long three-pointer coming up by Groves. No good, but they do get the offensive rebound down low and back up with it. There are the Chargers and Stillwell to make it a one-point game. 42-39. 
Yeah, and Concordia, they've got a nine second difference between the shot and game clock. Right now, 30 on the game, 21 on the shot. So they got to put up one here. Now 15 seconds on the shot clock, waiting right near half court is Watson, guarded by Hoyt. Four low for the Bulldogs. Watson all alone, trying to make a move. He does get past his defender, right to the basket. It'll be a non-shooting foul, but free throws are coming up here for the Bulldogs. First foul there is gonna be called on Hoyt as he reached in on Watson, trying to get to the basket. Jay Watson now to the line for the Bulldogs, an 83% free throw shooter. His first one is good. And that'll give Watson now nine points. Close to becoming the third Bulldog so far in double figures. Carter Kent leading the way with 12. Gage Smith has 11. And Watson here with nine. Two-point Bulldog lead with 12.9 seconds to go in the first half. And he gets that second free throw as well to give him 10. Briar Cliff here can take the last shot. 10 seconds to go until half. They're down by three. Vesey right to the basket quickly. No good. And then the rebound there for Smith. Still time for the Bulldogs. Three seconds. Where's Matu Kent right at the buzzer. Nearly got it right on line, but can't knock it down. I think Friedrich Arena would have blown its top off had that one have dropped in. But it's still a three-point Bulldog lead here at half. 42 to 39. A lot of action here in that first half. The Chargers won this matchup back in Sioux City, 65 to 48, back on November 13th. Got a closer game this time around as Concordia will start out this half with a basketball and right away, Gage Smith taking it from the elbow on the right side, right to the basket and finishes around the rim. Five point Bulldog lead, 20 seconds into the second half and they got a bucket. The Chargers back with it here on offense. This is with Klein Hesselink. He's holding the ball, now driving toward the basket. Gets it back up to Groves, top of the key, and got away from Watson. Watson tried to uh, try to get that steal right there. Maybe went a little bit too far ahead. Groves then caught it and was left open there and knocked it down from the right side. Yeah. Now it's a two-point game. AJ going for that steal. You don't get that steal. They're so prolific three-point shooters. You, you're going to get burned once in a while. So just uh, take what you can. There's a deep three by Gage Smith. That one goes in and out on the right side. And the rebound here for the Chargers. Pass ahead up to Vesey. Now Vesey stops right at the free throw line. Picks up his dribble. Now throws it to Vasa. Vasa with a pump fake now on the drive. Will instead give it to Groves now on the right wing. 14 on the shot clock here for the Chargers. And Klein has to link with the basketball. Left-handed drive for him, but he's going to throw it into the corner. Five seconds now as Borhave has it on the drive. And then or excuse me, yeah, Vasa has it on the drive. Then Borhe with a miss. Now, hard bounce pass down low to uh, Wiersma. Now pass back out to Watson. Top of the key for three. No good. Right underneath, Gage Smith with a putback. That was interesting. I, A.J. Watson didn't even draw iron. I don't see how it stayed in bounds, but Gage Smith somehow kept the ball in bounds and then finished it. Offensive rebound putback. So now, typically a big yeah. fella just turns around and doesn't see the ball when it's shot that short and it goes out of bounds. Briar Cliff inbounds, opposite of their own bench. Right. Klein has to link with the ball. Now he puts it on the floor. Free throw line jumper. I think that was blocked by Kent right there. Taken away here by the Bulldogs. The shot will come away with it. Nice now he attack. gives a little hesitation, getting with the left side, getting to the left side, but misses on it. Then wears right away with a steal, right as Briar Cliff was trying to advance it up the court. So the Bulldogs have it right back after the quick miss and then the turnover forced by them, the steal. And Watson here with the ball on the high right side. Now to shut, still here on the right. Now they switch over to the left wing. This is with Kent. Kent now puts it on the floor. Drive to the basket. And he'll stop. Six seconds here on the shot clock. Now Kent, lane to the rim, and he misses. But right there, Gage Smith cleans it up. Gage Smith's having a game. Huge there's game. a timeout. Briar Cliff and the coach is upset. Gage Smith, 17 points, 12 rebounds, 17-22 left to go here in the second half. 
48-42, 17-22 to go here in the second half. Concordia so far leading the Briarcliff Chargers. Already will have a share of the GPAC regular season title at least. They win this one, they'll get it out right today as the Chargers have it back on offense. Now Vesey driving in the paint. Tries to turn around and throw it back to Vasa, but he lost it right near half court. They still have it though. Vesey got the pass after Vasa was trying a desperation pass. Five on the shot clock. Now it's with Groves. Groves on Watson, long three. Almost got it there, but can't hit. Now Wiersma will take it from the corner. Groves can really elevate and get a shot yes, off. Yes, he can. He had two guys on him right there, two Bulldogs, and he didn't look phased at all. There's a turnover by A.J. Watson. Bessie comes away with it to the basket, lays it in, got a friendly roll as well. Shut defending. But it'll make it a four-point game now, 48-44. Watson with it. Now on the left side with Wiersma. Carter Kent will take it back. Dribble it right to the free throw line. Give it to Shutt. Now back on the baseline is Smith. Smith backing down on the right side. Smith nice up move. in the middle, and he's fouled going up with a shot. So Gage Smith having a big day. 17 points, 7 of 9 shooting from the field and 12 rebounds. It's also one of two from the three-point line and two of four right here from the free throw line. But you talked about it right before we started this second half. Devin, got to make these right here. Yes, these are so important as the game unwinds. Got the first one. Yes, making the first one. Voss is going to check out. Borhave received the foul, but Vasa has two fouls. He was upset. He, he was playing post defense there on Gage Smith, and he just spun on him and, and got Borhave to foul him. There's an, another made free throw by Gage Smith, who's having a great night. He has 18 and 12 rebounds. Bulldogs are playing the stingy half-court defense. Vesey for three. And that's no good. Taken right in front of the Charger bench and rebounded by Smith. He might get 20 rebounds tonight. Watson with it here on the left wing. Ball screen set by Smith. Watson will switch back and forth around that screen, and now it's back up to Kent. Left wing with it is Smith. He tries a bounce pass right to Wiersbaum. And the ball is going to be hit out of bounds. Where's my last got the hand on it right there as it fell uh, out, out of bounds on the sideline. Gage Smith, as he was entering that pass, probably should have dribbled down a couple yeah. more steps and entered it to Wiersma. He was too straight lined on that lane line, extended. Jorge with the basketball, now with it is Hoyt. Back to Klein Hesselink on the right side. Now on the left wing, this is with Groves. 11 on the shot clock. There's a three-pointer attempted by Hoyt, but blocked by Kent on the three-point shot, taken away here by Smith. Now Smith back to Kent on the right side. Smith uh, going or cutting toward the basket as Kent gives him the pass, but see, it was hit out of bounds. Briar Cliff last touched it, so it'll still be Bulldog ball right underneath their own rim. Weersma looks like he's going to throw it in. Four low on the baseline, and he'll throw it up top here to Kent, still on the left wing. Kent guarded by Vesey, 17 on the shot clock. Still holding it here is Kent. Now he's going to drive right side toward the middle. We'll stop right on the low block, pass it out to Weersma. Right side, he's on the drive, and one, Justin Weersma. Getting his self himself involved in this one. He's got five now and an and one opportunity here for the Bulldogs. Just great body control. I believe he got Borhave his third foul. He's checking out. As Stillwell checks in, Justin Wiersma has got a chance for the traditional three-point play with the free throw coming up right now. Wiersma shoots 73% from the line. And this to give the Bulldogs a nine-point lead, and they do, 53-44, 14.58 to go in the second quarter. Now it's the Chargers back with it on offense. Vesey will bring it across the timeline. Now with it is... Uh, still will just checking in back up to Vesey top of the key guarded by Watson and Watson uh, holding him there He doesn't like the call neither does the Concordia bench It'll be Watson's second foul. I don't know if he held him. It looked like great defense moving side to side But Vesey is such a veteran Selling that foul Vesey will throw it in here to Borhave 
Bigger part, Vasa. Now it goes back to him right near the baseline, still about 12 feet away. He'll pass it back up top of the key. They give it right back to him. That was Hoyt there at the top, then driving inside, gave it right back to Vasa, who will put that one up and in. He's got eight points. Vasa's stronger than he looks. He's developed a lot of muscle over the last couple of years. Plays really well at the high post and, and uh, can really do some damage underneath. Shoots the three, posts up. Now there's a foul. That's going to be charged against Briarcliff Vasa right there. So he's got three fouls as the Bulldogs were trying to post up. So the Bulldogs get a baseline out of bounds play out of it. Also the third team foul here for Briarcliff this half. Tristan Smith back in the game. He's got the ball. Now Watson left side. It's going to go to Wiersma. Cross court pass into the right corner. And Justin Wiersma knocking it down. 10 point Bulldog lead. Splash Bulldog basketball. Justin Wiersma from Loveland, Colorado. 6'3", senior guard. 14 minutes to go. Now here's Briarcliff getting it inside the paint. They'll have to throw it back out here to Vesey. Right side. Now top with Klein Hesseling. Now Vasa with it. Guarded by Tristan Smith. Backing him down. Has to throw out of it toward the top of the key. Four on the shot clock. Good pump fake right there by Stillwell on the baseline. And then one or two dribbles inside. And he puts it up there. So now Stillwell with seven points. A timeout here is going to be called by Briarcliff. 56 to 48 with 1340 to go here in the second half. Concordia already 14 points in this six minutes and 20 seconds of this second quarter, second half. And then Briar Cliff so far with nine points in this second half. So a 14 to nine advantage so far for the Bulldogs in the second half. And now they've got it on offense out of the timeout. Ken here with the basketball now drives middle, tries to throw it back up to Smith. It's poked around, but still picked up up by the Bulldogs. Tristan Smith comes to the corner to grab it. Now it's to Ken with the pass right there to Gage Smith, right? That's what Carter Kent would tell you right away. Uh, no, he did miss on that three-pointer, but Gage Smith right underneath to clean it up and lay it in. Gage has just got his instincts rolling here tonight. He's right where he needs to be to get offensive rebounds. There's still a will on a heavy drive to the basket, a block right there by the Bulldogs, picked up by Watson. Now ahead to Smith. Tristan Smith on the drive, right to his brother Gage, but Gage, the senior, can't hit it, and the rebound there for the Chargers. Yeah, the block was done by Smith and Smith, and then they go down and miss. There's Vasa straight away three. Quiets the crowd a little bit. 58-51, 12-34 left in this game. Vasa's with 11 points now. 25 to go. Now the ball with Concordia. This is Gage Smith now backing down his defender. He tries to throw across court. We've seen that a lot here. Yeah. Uh, those passes getting deflected. Both teams doing a good job taking those lanes away. Seven point lead by the Bulldogs. Briarcliff now after the turnover has the ball. Each team now with five turnovers here in this game. So it's been pretty clean on both sides. As here Klein Hesselink, he'll take a jumper from the elbow and miss it there from the left wing. Bounced around a little bit there and then taken away by the Bulldogs. Now Wiersma with it on the right side. He'll throw it to Tristan Smith. Now Tristan Smith driving baseline, trying to split two defenders, but a travel right there called with 11.42 to go in the second half. It seems to me the Bulldogs have gotten themselves so worked up when they drive, they do a lot of reverse spins and it gets them tangled up and they don't really see where the double team or the defense is coming. And so those types of situations are gonna happen when you're constantly reverse spinning. You'd like to get low, get low right. and get through the legs. Crossover between the legs. Or maybe just cut down on the number of dribbles and just attack the basket. Three pointer there by Vasa. That's he's gonna go down as well. He is. He's got 14 points to lead the way for Briar Cliff. We got a four point game, just over 11 minutes to go. He's got him, the Chargers right back in this game after being down double figures. This is Smith now taking it inside, and Gage Smith lays it up and in with the right hand through some traffic as well. Gage Smith has 23. He's eight, nine for 12 on, on the, from the floor. 16 rebounds. Yeah. He's having a game. 
Top of the key now with Stillwell. It's going to go to the left wing now with Vossov. And now Briar Cliff on the drive with Klein Hesselink. He'll put it up. No good. Good following defense there by Garrett Segrin. Now Watson, he's going to the basket, and he is blocked out of bounds. So it'll stay here with Concordia. Scarpelli is going to sub in for AJ. Here comes Ryan Holt. He's going to sub in for probably, yep, Gage Smith. Now you got Briar Cliff thinking about substituting. Here comes Groves. He's subbing in for timeout. Timeout Bulldogs. called by the Bulldogs. Yeah, with 10.37 to go in the second half. Most rebounds that any Bulldog has had this season. Before that, it was Justin Wiersma at Ottawa University back right after Christmas. He had 14 in that game, and then Gage had a game where he had 12 rebounds against Dort just a couple of weeks ago as well. But now with 17 here is out of the timeout. The Bulldogs have the basketball. Sam Scarpelli checking in. Now Scarpelli inside. Fade away. Nothing but net in the middle of the paint. There's a Briar Cliff foul, yeah. too, on Vesey on a rebound. As Holt fell to the ground. So Scarpelli's basket will score. Yep. The foul will go on Vesey. That's his second. And Bulldogs get the basketball yeah. out of bounds underneath. This is a huge little run that here. That was. Vassa checks out. So Seagren will throw it in. And he gets it up high to Kim here on the right side. Now Holt will take it back over at the top. Scarpelli with it. Now a bounce pass right there to Tristan Smith. Right on the baseline, Smith backing down his defender and will throw it out to Ken. And he'll drive it right to the right side baseline. And Carter Ken up with the jumper right there. Talk about his mid-range game has just been incredible so far this year. Bulldogs take a 10-point lead after getting a double-figure lead cut to four. Less than 10 minutes to go in this game. The illegal screen. No. Nope. They're going to call that a foul on Carter Kent. Trying to get through the screen. He must yep. have held the offensive player. Vasa checks in. Still well checks out. It'll be Briarcliff basketball. Baseline out of bounds underneath their own basket. So it'll be Borhave to throw it in. Looking for somebody to throw it to. Five-second five second call. Violation. That was really yeah. close. Knew it was going to come uh, to be close. And then, yeah, the five-second call was given right there. Timeout called on the court. It's a 30-second timeout. We'll be back in 30 seconds right here on Max Country and the Concordia Sports Network. Concordia men's basketball leading this one 64 to 54 over the Briarcliff Chargers. the court for the Bulldogs. Tristan Smith inbounding this one to Sam Scarpelli. Also Carter Kent, Ryan Holt, and Garrett Segrin on the court for the Bulldogs. Quinn Vesey out there for Briar Cliff. There's a back door, and Ryan Holt gives Carter Kent that nice pass. Kent there sliding right to the basket from the baseline there with the layup. Just a great pass by Ryan Holt on that back door cut. Just super stuff out of a timeout for Coach Limbach. Great execution by the Bulldogs. Quinn Vesey, Kyle Borhave, Quinn Vassa on the court, Connor Groves, and Jaden Klein Hesseling out there for Briar Cliff as the ball ends up on the near side baseline. Hit out of bounds, last touch by the Bulldogs, so it will stay Briar Cliff ball. Just over nine minutes to go. 12 point lead yeah. here. Bulldogs are really sniffing something special. Time though. Yes. As they throw it in here to Vasa. Now still Will will take it over. Connor Groves back up at the top of the key. Now Vasa gets it right back. Guarded by Smith. It'll end up in Still Will's hands in the corner and he'll airball that three. And then the rebound here by Concordia. Scarpelli now on the right side. Gives it to Kent. Right wing still. Now Kent puts it on the floor, drives toward the free throw line, throws it out to Scarpelli on the left wing. And the Bulldogs with it now is Segrin. Back to Scarpelli. Now Scarpelli on the Look drive. Gets to the basket open and scores. Slippery, like threading right. the needle right there. 
Scarpelli's having a game here. Seven for Sam Scarpelli, the super senior from Portland, Oregon. Crowd now getting into it. Student section here for the Bulldogs as there's a quick drive down low and right there with Quentin Vassa. Nice seal off of the defender and then put it up on the right side. Voss is the only one keeping him in the game right now for the Chargers. He's trying to do it all. Three-pointer. Scarpelli. Scarpelli. Ooh, that was halfway down. Maybe even more. <laughs> and it bounces out. Yeah, how'd it come out of there? This place would have went nuts. Yeah. The student section's getting really fired up about this run. 68-56, 7.59 to go in the game. You got Segrin, Wiersma, Scarpelli, Gage Smith, Ryan Holt, 9 volt. Adding a little spark here. Half court, man-to-man -man defense by the Bulldogs. Charges with the ball, still will with it. Bounce pass into the corner, but it throws right out of bounds. Bulldog student section kind of getting into this one a little bit here. They lead by a dozen and Concordia back on offense. Now turnover, then a travel. So a quick immediate turnover by the Bulldogs. And then Briar Cliff trying to run it to the other side will walk with the basketball. Fortunate situation there for Concordia. Now Seagren will throw it back in here to Scarpelli, right near half court. Throw over to Smith on the right side. Now left wing with Seagren. It's with Wiersma. Now into the corner, Scarpelli. Thought about a three there for a second. Will dribble out of it. Here's Wiersma, left wing. 12 on the shot clock for the Bulldogs as Seagren has it on the left side. Now down low, left side block with Hull. Now pass right back out to Seagren. He'll try the three. It's no good. And Vesey right there with the board. And now the Chargers will push it on offense. Bossong now on the right side. Klein Hesselink on the drive and the lay-in right there. Had an open lane to the basket. So he was guarded by Seagren. Back to a 10-point game. 68-58. Under seven minutes to go. Chargers are still in man-to-man -man defense. They've gone away from doubling the post. Wiersma now on the right side. Bounce pass here to Holt. Back up to Wiersma. Wiersma now getting in to the paint. Trying to find somewhere to go. He's going to turn around for the shot. And that was a tough fadeaway there for Wiersma. It's no good. And Klein Hesseling gets it across the timeline for Friar Cliff. Since one of these offensive lulls, the Bulldogs occasionally suffer. It's been a couple of empty possessions down there. Now with it here is Klein Hesseling gets it inside. Now hands one off right near the free throw line to Stillwell. Stillwell is fouled. And it'll be two free throws coming up for Matthew Stillwell. Already three for four at the free throw line. And the foul there is going to be on Gage Smith. That's his third. You may see him check out here in a moment as well. These three Bulldogs are set to check in. First free throw coming up. It's good by Still Will. Gives him his 10th point. Beg your pardon, 8th point. So you got A.J. Watson, Carter Kent, Noah Shutt, Cage Smith, and Justin Wiersma back in the game. Still Will's second free throw is no good. A one for two at the line. Briar Cliff now four of seven from the free throw line. I think that was their first free throws in the second half as well. Here's Wiersma left wide open. He cut right to the basket. Smith at the top of the key. Threw it right down to Wiersma. And he finishes. Get those easy baskets early in the shot clock when they're there. Another foul. Gage Smith is going to pick it up. It's going to be his fourth foul. It's going to be interesting. Now we've got Tristan Smith going to sub in for his big brother. Instantly some foul trouble. You, you said it, Parker. You know, the last foul he got, maybe he would go out, but he didn't. Briar Cliff yeah. went right at Gage and got him in his fourth foul. Which so. is uh, something I don't know how long we'll see Smith now on the bench, but yeah, four Get fouls, you got to be careful. Right. You got to be careful. 
Now here is Briar Cliff on offense. Fessy, but a good poke right there. I think that was Noah Shutt right there who stole it. Uh, did, well, didn't steal it, but poked it as it was going toward the baseline. Then Watson, wow, he nearly lost one there as well. But comes away with the ball here on the high right side. Now a handoff to Shutt. Goes to the left wing and Weersma. Now Kent. Kent now, ball screen set by Smith. He's trying to seal off his defender there, but Kent will give it to Watson on the right side. Seven here on the shot clock, now down to five. It's Carter, Kent, three-pointer, right on line, but no good. And then the rebound here for Klein Hesselink and the Chargers. Now they'll push it up. Vossaw thought about a three, but we'll give it to Vesey, and he'll take it and knock it down, nothing but net. Makes it an eight-point game, 72-62. Fessy now to a dozen points here in this one. Four minutes, 44, no, excuse me, four minutes, 40 seconds and counting to go. And here's Shutt now with the basketball. The team. Now a Shutt just with three here today as Kent will take it. Now Weersma from straight away. Weersma getting toward the elbow. It's Shutt now on the drive. Shutt though, the lay-in can't hit it. Oh, and then his teammate Tristan knocks him over. Shut gets right up. Bessie now left wing. Three-pointer is good. Five-point game. And the Bulldogs will stay out here on up. Nope, timeout. Timeout. Is going to be called. 4.08 to go. Don't go anywhere. It's a five-point game. Briar Cliff and Concordia. The Bulldogs had as much as a 12-point lead in this second half. They'll drop back a little bit, so the Bulldog women's team still with some chances to improve some seating pretty drastically as we head into conference play one week away. Four minutes to go in this men's basketball matchup. It's turning into a good one now as Bulldogs have the basketball. And Watson, there had a three from straight away. That's no good. And so Briar Cliff back with it, trailing by three. They're on a good run of their own right here. And now Vesey, he'll continue to shoot that from the right side. No good, though. That was a long three. And then Kent ends up with the basketball. And the Bulldogs will work back with it. He run offense. Trying to maybe slow some things down here, not in too much of a hurry. Tristan Smith now with it. It's going to go to Kent on a handoff. Now Kent picks up his dribble from straight away. Now it's to shut here on the right side. Back out to Kent. Kent driving in middle. That shot blocked hard off the backboard. And it's Klein Hesselink who comes away with it. Now Groves, top of the key. He's fouled on the three point shot. So he'll have three free throws coming up. His three-pointer went hard off the back iron. It was right on line. And so, yep, three free throws coming up. And the foul there is on Carter Kent. He has three fouls. First one's coming up here for Groves. And it is in and out and then back in. He has 13 points. Connor Groves has been a pretty dangerous part for Briar Cliff here in this game. To pull up from about anywhere. And he hits that second one as well. Gage Smith with four fouls. Checks in for Tristan Smith. You have Kent and Smith. Two guys. Smith with four fouls. Kent with three in the game as Connor Groves makes all three free throws right there. Three minutes to go. Bulldogs with it on offense. Shut now with the ball. Now where's Mum? It's going to go to the left side and Kent. Back down low to Gage Smith. Or excuse me, to shut. Now he'll pass out to Smith here on the left wing. Where's Mum will take it. Now it's A.J. Watson on the right side. Ten on the shot clock. Watson, step back. Three-pointer coming up. Right on line, but no good. And then an offensive foul called on Smith. Smith. That is his fifth foul. Huge bummer here on senior night for Gage Smith, but what a game he had here today. 23 points, 17 rebounds, 9 of 12 from the field. Now you got to do it without your best player here tonight, Devin. Yes. Up by two. It's going to be uh, a situation where Noah Shutt is going to have to step up a little bit. He's kind of been hidden tonight. Him, where's mine? Carter Ken are going to have to carry the load. 70 to 68, two minutes, 27 seconds to go. Briar Cliff 
with the basketball. It's Klein Hesselink now to Groves at the top of the key. Ten on the shot clock, guarded by Watson. Now Groves trying to get around Watson. Some crossovers. Give it to Vasa. He'll take the long three that'll miss out of bounds. Crowd might tell you how that ball missed out of bounds. Vasa had a good look at it, but rebounded here by Concordia or uh, rather taken now by Concordia after it goes out of bounds, and then the Bulldogs will get it right across the timeline and call timeout. 2.06 left to go here in the second half. It's 70 to 68, Concordia on top over Briar Cliff. We'll take a break as well. We'll be back in one minute right here on Max Country and the Concordia Sports Network. Two minutes, seconds left to go in this one. Concordia basketball leading Briar Cliff 72-68. The Bulldogs shooting 49%. So is Briar Cliff. Both teams shooting about even here in this one. Gage Smith out of the game for Concordia. He had 23 points and 17 rebounds. Fouled out, though, just a moment ago. Now the Bulldogs lead by two. They've got the ball here on offense. Tristan Smith with the ball. Now to Kent. Left side, three-pointer on line but short. And the rebound there for Vesey. Tristan Smith almost got the board, but now back here with the Chargers. Two-point game. Groves now with the ball. Ball screen set by Klein Hesseling. As Groves now gives it into the corner, they'll give the ball back up to Vasa, top of the key. Now on the right side, Klein Hesseling. And they lost the ball there, guarded by Tristan Smith. Five on the shot clock as he drives inside and puts up the jumper that ties this one up at 70. Klein has to link now with 10. We got another timeout here called by Concordia. So let's see, they have now two timeouts left. Briar Cliff will have two timeouts left. 114 to go. Another full timeout as well. So don't go anywhere, folks. We got a good game brewing. It's 70 all, 114 to go. And we'll be right back for the finish of this second half right here on Max Country and the Concordia Sports Network. We're tied up, 70 all, Concordia and Briar Cliff. Some things that can happen here. Concordia can lock in the two seed in the GPAC tournament with a win. Briar Cliff can lock in the outright conference regular season title with a win. As now Wiersma has it down low, throws it across to Kent. Kent has it poked away. It's Briar Cliff ball. Kent definitely wanted something called there, but to no avail. Now the Chargers will have it. Fossa with it. 17 on the shot clock. Tie game. Now Vesey with it on the right side. Back up top of the key to Klein Esseling. He's guarded by Ken. Ken staying right with him as he tries to cross over around him and travel. Travel. Yeah. Big call. The ball was in the hands of Matthew Stillwell. And he walked with the basketball. So 38 seconds left to go. It is Concordia ball. Watson, Ken, Tristan Smith, Justin Wiersma, Sam Scarpelli on the court for the Bulldogs. It's about a seven second difference between the shot and game clock. Carter Kent holding it right near half courts, trying to take this one right near the end of the shot clock. Now nine seconds. Ken guarded by Vesey. Watson come with a ball screen. Kent now will pull up, knock it down. Ten seconds to go. Bulldogs lead. Briar Cliff has a timeout. What are they going to do, though? Vesey with the ball. Now Klein Esselink in a timeout. It's going to be called by the Chargers. It'll be a sideline inbound. Ah, wow. Carter Kent, big time shot right there from the, from the baseline area. What did well, you see there? Mid-range game. And I really liked what I saw there because... The previous four minutes, it was either shoot a three or try to get it all the way to the rim, and there was no mid-range action. And they, the Bulldogs went five out, so it really was forcing us to dribble drive and kick, and, and Briar Cliff's defense was just stellar the last five minutes, and, and they were hitting threes to get back into it after being, I believe, down 12. Yep. And they fought themselves right back in it to tie the game. But the Bulldogs, with that, you know, it's five seconds to go, 5.1 seconds to go. 
Briar Cliff's going to have a sideline out of bounds play. I, I imagine they're going to try to maybe enter it to the post and then kick it out right after the right out of the inbounds pass. Kind of an inside. If you inside, got a shot, outside. then yeah. look outside. Right. You know, like an offensive rebound, kick out three. It's going to be five seconds yeah. is a lot of time. Exactly. 5.1 to go. They're going to be inbounding the ball on if you're watching on the Concordia Sports Network, an inbound from the near sideline. And the crowd, everybody on their feet here in Friedrich Arena as Briar Cliff already at least a share of the GPAC regular season title for them, but the Bulldogs can knock them off here at home. Fessy will inbound it, 5.1 to go. We've got another timeout as Coach Limbach. There's plenty of timeouts to go around here. And now Coach Limbach will take one as well. It's a full timeout called also. While we do have a moment, let's just run through some GPAC games that are going on around men's basketball so far today. Uh, we're a little bit late in this one, so we may have some final scores, uh, but perhaps not as well. Either way, Doan and Mount Marty went at it for action, but we do have a final score in some of these. So yeah, Doan took down Mount Marty on the road, 84 to 66 in GPAC men's basketball. Midland on the road beat Hastings 84 to 69. And then Northwestern squeaked by Dort at home, 82-78. And then Morningside just beat Dakota Wesleyan, 73-65. That's all in men's basketball. Concordia and Briar Cliff, the final game here on this Wednesday night. All right, once again, 5.1 seconds to go. Bulldogs lead 72-70. It's Briar Cliff ball. Vessi. Will inbound the ball. Tristan Smith guarding the inbound. Here we go. Right into Klein Hesseling. Three seconds. He'll take the three. Hits it right with point eight to go. Double clutch three pointer goes down. He caught that thing, went up with a shot, then kind of clutched it back. An unbelievable shot. Knocked down by. I believe that was Klein Hesseling. Still .8 to go. Briar Cliff leads 73 to 72. That quiets Friedrich yeah, Arena. I'd say so. I mean, that was an incredible shot. It the looked, double clutch there too. It looked like That's they were tough. totally under duress because couldn't get a clean look. And it was great defense. Just a double clutch, three pointer that goes. One second left yeah. on the clock, so really all there is a chance to catch and shoot now. Right. Yeah, you know Coach Limbach right there in the huddle over there is drawing something up. Briar Cliff, they've gotten together as well. A timeout again here called by Concordia. They will have to go the length of the floor here to win it. Carter Kent will throw it in. Baseball pass down look there to Smith. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Look at this. Tristan look Smith. at this. The crowd was wild. The game winner, chicken dinner. Length of the floor pass. Tristan Smith catches it and puts it in. I can't believe what just happened. Friedrich Arena is going crazy. Fans on the court, the Bulldogs have knocked down Briar Cliff. Chargers are shocked. This is an ESPN highlight tonight. Better wow. clip it and send it. <laughs> Both shots. Get it on ESPN. Unbelievable finish here at Friedrich Arena. Network. Yeah. Number one <laughs> highlight of the year. Wow. Let's take a break. Devin and I will come right back here and wrap this one up. Final score, Concordia 74, Briar Cliff 73, and an unbelievable play at the finish. Carter Kent throwing at the length of the floor, and Tristan Smith with a tip-in at the buzzer. We'll be right back. This is Bulldog Basketball on Max Country and the Concordia Sports Network. 
looked like the game right there. Briarcliff uh, had the lead 73-72 with one second. Concordia had to go the length of the floor to even try to put up a shot. Carter Kent threw a pass that I don't know if Matthew Stafford, Joe Burrow, Tom Brady could throw a ball better than that. Threw it all the way down to Tristan Smith right under the left side of the basket and Tristan Smith just tapped it right back up and in. An unbelievable finish here in Friedrich Arena. Uh, Devin, I, I don't know how much more words we could put into this, but I guess what were your thoughts from that? That was incredible. It's the best play I've seen in Bulldog history. It really is. 